As promised, I'll be giving you an update on my figs. I'll also give you updates on my uh, finger lime and a few other fruit trees that are setting fruit. Before I start on that, I'd like to show you uh, this tree here. This is my Mao Lang fruit tree. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right. I'll show the name on the screen. I bought this tree from an online nursery a little over two years ago. And as you can see, it's put on quite a bit of growth. And it just recently started to produce its very first set of flower buds. At least that's what I believe these appear to be. I've never grown this variety and really couldn't find too much info on them. So I'm not familiar with their uh, fruiting cycle, but I do believe these are flower buds that have formed. Shortly after I purchased uh, this tree, I transplanted it to a seven gallon grow bag, uh, which is the one it's in now. I'll be up potting it soon uh, as it's done with its uh, flowering cycle. It's put on a good amount of growth, so it needs to be transplanted pretty soon. And I'm probably going to keep it here in this area where it gets several hours of direct sunlight uh, by about mid-afternoon and then several filtered sunlight through the rest of the day. My neighbor's trees provide quite a bit of shade in this area, which this tree seems to like. I'll keep you posted on its progress. And here are three of my fig trees that were planted in this section about two and a half years ago. I have three other varieties that I'll show you and a few that are growing in containers. Um, but this one here, uh, this is a Peter's honey fig tree. Last season, all three of these trees here in this section produced a good amount of figs, but the uh, Peter's honey was the one that set the biggest crop. The figs are green in color and good size. They are a honey color inside and have a very sweet flavor. This other one here is an Excel fig. It has a fair amount of figs forming, but not nearly as many as the Peter's honey. And back over on this other side, over here, this one here is a blackjack uh, fig tree. It hasn't put on as much growth, but um, it has a very good amount of figs that are developing, certainly more than the uh, Excel fig. And down here, these are some cuttings that I took off my fig trees when I pruned them a couple of seasons ago. They're doing well growing in these two gallon grow bags and some are putting on some fairly good sized uh, figs. I started off with around 11 cuttings and I gifted a few of them and plan on keeping the these that I have left here as backup figs just in case anything happens to the ones I have planted in the ground. Here's another one here with has a good amount of good sized figs on it. And here's my Little Miss Figgy fig tree. The figs on this one are almost ready to be picked. It's a small tree, but it has set a good amount of figs on it. It's been a steady producer year after year. I'm hoping once I put this one in the ground, it'll 
put on a little bit more uh, growth and hopefully get a little bit more. And here is my Celeste fig tree. This one always manages to set a good sized crop. The leaves look a little bit wilted. Uh, like most parts of the US, it's been getting lots of heat. But with a little water, it'll bounce back quickly. I recently started to harvest some figs off of this one. The one thing I did notice that this season, the figs are much smaller than previous years. The taste is still the same, it's still excellent flavor, but they are uh, notably smaller. I'm guessing that it might be ready to upsize the pot. It's been growing in a 22 inch container for over five years now, so I'm guessing it needs a bigger container. I'll likely build a large wooden container for it within the near future. So hopefully that'll uh, improve the quality and size of the fruit. And here is my Black Mission fig tree. This one has never put on a good sized crop. Uh, I've been pruning this one in order to try and encourage more branching, but I've had very little success, which is disappointing because what little fruit it does produce is good size and excellent in flavor. It has a few figs that have set, but not nearly as many as any of my other uh, fig trees. And speaking of disappointing, here are my red lady papayas, or what's left of them. These were planted in the ground over two years ago. They did well for about a year after transplanting. Uh, then last winter they suffered quite a bit of cold damage and now two out of the three have died. This one is still alive, but it's also struggling and not doing as well as a couple of the other, couple of other papayas that I have, which uh, I'll show you those in a few. I did manage to harvest a papaya off of this one, which was pretty good in flavor, so hopefully it'll bounce back. Here's a, another papaya that I grew from seed. I started this one off a store-bought uh, papaya a little over four years ago. And it's been growing in this seven gallon container for about three years now. And this is the first time that it has uh, set fruit. It's still flowering, but so far only one papaya has set. It's still a fairly small tree, so I'll I doubt I'll let any more fruit sit on this one. And here is my other container grown papaya. This one was gifted to me about five years ago. It's been growing in this 15 gallon container for a little over a year and I recently harvested a couple of papayas off this one. It has another papaya that has set. Uh, and it, it also has a few more flower buds that have yet to flower. So hopefully it'll set a few more. I was planning on uh, upsizing the container it's in, transplanting it to a bigger container, but I'm gonna have to wait now until I harvest the fruit off of this one. And this is my Kohala Longan, also known as the uh, Dragon Eye. It's been in the ground just over a year, and this is the very first uh, fruit set. This is another one that I've never grown before, and. I've never tried the fruit, so 
I'm looking forward to getting a harvest off of this one. It has a fair amount of fruit that is at the very early stages of development. It started to push out uh, panicle back in September. Then in April, it developed flower buds and went into full bloom sometime around May. I'm hoping a good portion of the developing fruit will reach full maturity. I'll keep you posted. And these are my lychee trees, or lychee, however you choose to pronounce it. These are the emperor variety. These trees are fairly slow growing. They've been in the ground just over two years and have only put on a little amount of growth. Last season, this one on the left produced about 25 and the other one only produced one. This season though, the tables have turned and it appears that you know, this one's not gonna produce much and it's just gonna concentrate on putting on new growth. It does have a couple, as you see here, that are starting to develop, but it appears to be focusing most of its energy on new growth. The other one doesn't appear to be pushing out as much growth. This one seems to be focusing more on developing fruit. It has a fair amount of uh, developing fruit on a few of the branches. They're still at the very early stages of development, so it's too soon to tell if these will reach full maturity. And here is my Australian finger line. It has developed a fair amount of finger lines and is uh, still flowering. Some of the finger lines on this relatively small tree are good size. And a good portion of them are about ready to be harvested. It's been growing in this 10 gallon grow bag for over three years now and it continues to do well. And this is my Lee Jujube tree that has been uh, growing in this 20 gallon grow bag for about two and a half years. Last season it produced a slightly bigger crop. It doesn't have nearly as many as last year's crop, but uh, it does have a fair amount scattered throughout the tree. I'm sure a few of these will drop off before they reach full maturity, but it should still set a, a fair amount. And this other one here is the uh, long variety. And it's also been growing in this uh, 20 gallon grow bag for about two and a half years. Last season, this one, between the two of them, this is the one that put on the uh, heaviest crop. Uh, this season, it doesn't seem to be doing quite as well. It does have several scattered throughout the tree, but not nearly as many as it did last season. I'll put a short clip on the bottom left corner here. You can see uh, just how many it had last season. It was a really good crop last, last season. I was really pleased with it. And between these two, the Lee and the the long, uh, the taste, as far as taste goes, I prefer the, uh, the long. It seems to be a little bit sweeter. Has the same texture as uh, 
like biting into an apple, but it's just a little bit uh, sweeter in flavor. And just in case you're interested, I previously uploaded a video on these that shows the uh, flowering to harvest cycle. So I'll put the name on the screen uh, so you can search my channel for that video. Well, that'll be it for this video. I'll be uh, periodically posting updates on my backyard orchard. So I hope you consider subscribing so you can follow along. And until next time, as always, stay safe, grow your own, and thank you for watching.